What's up guys? Welcome to Rafa's Garage. Today we got special parts for the tsunami car. We got coilovers, extreme drops. Uh, I picked them up from somebody locally. Uh, he ended up parting his car. He's going to sell his Celica and he's going to buy a 350Z. Uh, so we came up. They're almost brand new. He only put them on. Probably had them for like a month. No more than 300 miles on them. Um, we also got the completing set of the C1. These are, this is the front strut bar. This is the Type R. And if you notice the difference, the difference between the Type R is this little lines right here. And then this one doesn't have it. So that's the difference between this, the Type R's and the regular ones. Um, so she has a complete set. Not all Type R's, but at least the C1. So let's slap these bad boys on and see how low my car, my girl's car, gonna go. So we got the car up in four jack stands. We took off the tires already. Um, she did, whatever. Um, the fronts are easy. I'm gonna let that for my girl. Uh, it's just three bolts up here, size 12. Um, you got two big ones right here, same thing as an axle. Uh, 19 right there. The end links are 17. You are gonna need an L for it. Um, and then the brake line and the ABS. So you got two lines right here. The brake line and the ABS. Um, some people don't have the ABS, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's about it. This should come off once you remove those three in the top, these two right here, and the two end links right here. Um, fairly easy. Now let's go to the back. The back is the hardest one of them all. Um, you also have, you only have one right there and then you have to remove the plastics and you're gonna have two right here and another one in the back over here and that's it but the reason that this one is a pain in the butt is that when you remove all this this control arm is still compressed to that so you have to bring the lower control arm down and take off the strut bar it's a pain in the ass um, after you do that and you put the coils, it's fairly easy because the coils over here are a lot shorter. So it makes it a lot easier to put them in. The hard part is just putting them back in. Um, while we're putting the coils, we're also going to put the strut bar since it's already here. Um, or maybe not because my girl has to remove this. She can't put it on with this strap right there. So, we'll figure out what we do. Probably won't put the front strut bar today. We'll put it on later. But let's get to work. So my girl was able to take out hers already. Was able, really. <laughs> yes. <laughs> using the wrong sockets too. She was using standard instead of fucking oh metric. Oh my god, you have to say that. Yeah. So, see, she got hers before me, and I'm still struggling over there. So, put it in. Guide it in.
so we weren't able to finish um, one of the bolts broke or it got stripped so I had to cut it so we're stuck plus um, one of the sway bar and leaks got stripped so I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow I'm gonna buy a new one get a new bolt um, and put it on I hate these cars that up north where they have a bunch of rust makes things difficult but we'll get it done tomorrow little sneak peek I'll show pictures and videos later so we out here again my girl already lifted the car, took off the wheel. Um, when the AutoZone bought a new end link, um, so I'm gonna try to take it off. If not, I'm gonna grind it off. Uh, we also got a bolt for the one in the strut. Um, that's it. Let's get to work and have this car ready today. Hopefully in an hour, half an hour, maybe. So the vice grip didn't work, so I'm gonna bring out the grinder and grind it off. So I was able to take it off. I uh, had it grind a little bit right there, uh, but it's still good. So now I have to put on the new one in the auto zone so there she is all done coals are in Got rid of the wheel gap. We might go lower in the back a little bit later on. We'll roll the fenders on this, put some spacers, and then she'll be looking good. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and suggestions, and I'll get back to you guys.